Every day is different. Every video is different. But my passion will always be the same. This is Kai from Warshawn, aka Stormboy13, and the storm has arrived. Wow! What is it with those fires over the last few days? We had a massive one nearby my area on Thursday. I think it was near Waste Facility Centre or somewhere. And then there was one on the motorway on Friday, and then another one today. What could that be? Could it just be a massive bonfire or just something sparked off once again by the prolonged dry and warm weather? Anyways, hi guys, Stormboy13. It's time for the usual weather forecast for the week ahead. And um, well, obviously it's half term coming up this week. It's still gonna be a challenging week. I mean, even though the lockdown measures have reduced slightly, there are still some strict measures in place. So obviously try and stay home as much as, as possible, even though the weather is gonna be very, very tempting, especially in England. Obviously, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, very different outcome there. So, uh, sorry if you don't live in England. Uh, but anyways, for those of you who are living in England, um, this week's weather, it is going to be um, a prolonged period of warm weather this week. No heat wave, temperatures not going to be record breakingly high, but some pleasantly warm days. All throughout, every day is going to be above average all of this week coming up. There will be plenty of sunshine, mostly dry. There is a risk of a few showers, particularly on Tuesday and Wednesday. More on that in just a few seconds or a few minutes, but overall the weather is looking very, very decent and probably the warmest half term weather ever, maybe, in terms of how prolonged it will be and how persistent it will be. Anyways, let's go through the weather forecast day by day, including today's weather. Now, quite a lot of clouds today. It's not hugely cold. Um, probably we've got a southwesterly breeze, so warmer air is sinking in. So temperatures later on today could reach around 18 degrees Celsius. We may even get a bit of evening sunshine to help lift those temperatures up. Uh, but there's also a risk of a few isolated showers, particularly in western areas, so I got she knows. Eastern areas are more likely to stay dry. So the rainfall chance around 30%. Most places will stay dry. Uh, and also much, much calmer day today. The last two days we've seen some quite unseasonably windy weather. It's still a bit breezy at parts throughout the day, but mostly overall, winds are much lighter and um, it's a bit more of a pleasant feeling day for late May. Highs of 18 degrees Celsius today. Tonight's weather, cloud will break apart in most places. Temperatures could be a bit chilly overnight. Winds will be much lighter as well. So lows of around seven degrees Celsius, quite a bit cooler than we've been used to over the last week. Um, but I'd find a dry star for bank holiday Monday. Yep, another typical, another bank holiday coming up for Monday, tomorrow, and uh, probably a completely different day tomorrow. Clear skies mostly throughout the area. Um, honestly, it's gonna be a very pleasant day. Temperatures, I'm gonna do the ranges this week. There's a little bit of uncertainty how warm it will be. So I'm just gonna do a rough estimation on the actual temperatures. Although London and Southeast may be a couple degrees warmer than that, but mostly for a whole of England, temperatures will be in the range between 21 and 23 degrees Celsius. Sunny clear skies with light wind. It is gonna be a very, very pleasant day today. And the rainfall chance because of high pressure slap bang over the UK will be at 0%. For Tuesday's weather, I think we'll likely see a bit more cloud sweeping in. We've got a weather front with some fairly strong winds and some rain, possibly affecting the Western Isles of the UK, but many places in the UK will stay dry. But because pressure's not massively strong at this stage, there's a chance of a few showers breaking out in some places, but most will stay dry. Temperatures once again run the range between 21 and 23 degrees Celsius and just a 30% chance of rain. Very similar on Wednesday, mixture of cloud and sunny spells, a few isolated showers in places, a little bit breezy, but nothing as windy as it was last few days ago. Temperatures again in the range between 21 and 23 degrees Celsius with a rainfall chance of 30%. I think by the time we get to Thursday, it's gonna be mainly persistent weather all week long, but I think we might be able to have a bit of a stronger ridge of the pressure, which will be able to 
lift the weather systems away from the British Isles so many places will be dry on Thursday and the pressure because the pressure will be increasing that means lower chance of rain so 0% on Thursday lots of sunshine temperatures could even be a tad higher we could be in a range between 22 and 24 degrees Celsius on Thursday so honestly another very pleasant day to come very similar on Friday lots of sunshine very very few showers if not any showers at all on Friday uh, lots of warm sunshine temperatures possibly in the range between 22 to 25 degrees Celsius by then, right way through to Friday. And as for next Saturday, it's likely the prolonged warm weather. It's not often we finish the end of the week with certainty, but yeah, it is going to be happening on Saturday. High pressure well and truly control, warm sunshine for many places, temperatures in the range maybe even between 23 and 25 degrees Celsius, and again, 0% chance of rain. So honestly, that high pressure is going to be well and truly in control for much of the UK, all week long for half term, typical, isn't it? So you can get out for as long as you want, but obviously make sure you stay alert as well. So please be vigilant of others. Um, if that makes any sense. But um, overall, this week's weather, very dry. We're certainly going to need some rain at some point in the next few weeks, but certainly very little of that, unfortunately, this week. Into next week's weather, there is then huge amounts of uncertainty into next week. It is likely that we may just see some scattered showers at times into next week, so maybe it's not going to be quite as dry, but certainly no washout by any means. That's a very high confidence we're not going to experience a lot of rain. Um, it is going to be, um, in terms of temperatures, a lot of doubt. Some models say of temperatures could be closer to maybe a bit below average for the early part of June. Others may predict temperatures spot on average, maybe in the low 20s. It could even, some say, it could even turn even warmer into the following week. But obviously, at the moment, uh, maybe not quite as dry into the following week with a risk of showers, but a lot of uncertainty with the temperatures. More detail on that, hopefully, by then into next weekend. And that's it for this week's weather, guys. You heard me clearly. It's a mostly dry week. It's a warm week, and mainly a sunny week. So, um, that's it. Um, and also, because I don't have as much work now, because it's half term, the assignments are done for the time being. I will be able to get some more videos out for the next few days ahead. So watch this space, guys. I know I kept saying it, but believe me, they will be out in the next few days. So be sure to keep an eye out. And that's about it, guys. Uh, have a fantastic week. Please stay safe, as always. The coronavirus pandemic is nowhere near over yet, but it is making progress So in terms of the cases. Anyways, that's it right now, guys. Enjoy your week. Stay safe. Storm's now out. Also, sorry camera eventually focuses. Also, just noticed the fire completely eased all of a sudden. Doesn't look like it's anything serious. And also, I did the whole of the web forecast by having a zoomed in shot of my face. So it'll be, a, trust me, that's going to be a one-off. That's not going to happen next video. Apologies for that.